What is an atom? An atom is made of protons, neutrons, quarks, and electrons. Atoms can be known as the building blocks in the scientific world. They are very, very small. Okay, so now that we know what an atom is, we can fully break down how the particles of an atom work. The middle of the atom is called the nucleus. The nucleus is very small in scale compared to the rest of the atom. The nucleus is positively charged and it is where the protons and neutrons are found. A proton is a positively charged particle, while a neutron does not have a charge at all. Electrons surround the nucleus of the atom and they are negatively charged. The electrons can move very fast. Scientists have found that there are even smaller particles to protons and neutrons. These particles are called quarks. There are six quarks known right now. Sometime in BC, Democritus made a model of an atom. It was just a circle. He made a theory that all elements were made of small solid particles that were not able to be split. In 1904, Thompson created a model of an atom that had small particles that were negatively charged. He thought of all electrons as evenly distributed throughout the sphere. Rutherford updated this model in 1911. He stated that almost all the mass of an atom and all and all of its positive charges were concentrated in a central atomic nucleus surrounded by the electrons. Niels Bohr made the model we use now. He made this model in 1913. Bohr proposed that the electrons went to an orbit around the nucleus. His student James Chadwick found that in the nucleus there were protons and neutrons. We also know now that atoms can split and when they split they give off large amounts of energy. The electron cloud is a model that is also accepted. It explains that electrons are not in orbit but they are constantly in areas around the nucleus. This was made in 1926. That is how the atom works, the structures, and the parts that go into the atom.